The sentencings of Cleveland kidnapper Ariel Castro, an emotional day expected in court as one of his victims is set to speak about her decade in captivity. ABC's Alex Perez is in Cleveland this morning. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, George. Through that plea deal, Ariel Castro was able to avoid facing the death penalty, but he won't be able to avoid his victims in just a few hours. One of them is planning to face him in the courtroom. This morning, 53-year-old Ariel Castro is expected to be sentenced to life in prison plus 1,000 years. But before he does, he will reportedly have to face one of his victims. Michelle Knight, one of the three women Castro held captive, will reportedly make an impact statement in court this morning. The two other victims, Gina De Jesus and Amanda Berry, will reportedly not be in court, but will have representatives speak on their behalf. So you understand, you will be in prison for life. You don't even have the expectation or the hope of getting out. Is that clear? I do understand that, Your Honor. Castro pleaded guilty to 937 counts, including murder and kidnapping. Help me, I'm Amanda Berry. In a sentencing memo released overnight, prosecutors laid out gruesome details of Castro's crimes, saying much of their evidence and timeline came from a diary kept by one of the women. Prosecutors say the writings explain how the women were chained to the floor and denied food. Earlier in the day, Cleveland police released a thank you note Michelle Knight wrote to officers, offering her appreciation for their help gathering cards and gifts from well-wishers for the three women. I am overwhelmed by the amount of thoughts, love, and prayers expressed by complete strangers, she writes. The note appears to be another step forward as the three women attempt to return to a normal life. Castro's sister told CNN she expects he will give a lengthy statement in court explaining his life. But this morning, it's likely nothing he says will change his future. And it's worth noting how Michelle Knight ended that special thank you note to police officers. She wrote, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, she became a butterfly.